Perfect. So how did you get your start in okay. acting? Oh my gosh. I think I came out of the room <laughs> acting. Really? From the time from the time I can remember, it's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get on stage, I wanted to perform. Um, yeah, so when I was very little, I did get my degree in uh, both theater and classical music performance, so I studied opera. Uh, studied with a theater company in Minneapolis called Teatro de la Jeune Nude. And then also studied abroad in London, my senior year of college. After I graduated, I lived in London for a few years, um, thinking I was going to study some more and work there. No, I just traveled and party, basically. But then I moved out to Los Angeles and got started doing a lot of comedy, sketch comedy, a lot of, and joined a theater company, like guys, did a lot of um, shows with them. And then uh, started getting, started booking commercials and things like that. So I uh, always wanted to do it, but started doing it professionally after college when I moved back. So you, you started on the, on the stage, of course. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. very much so. Theater oh. degree, did a lot of theater. Okay, so London is like the place to be in the theater. I know. Why would you leave London to go to, to come back? Honestly, I missed home. I really did. I had no um, connections there except for a boyfriend, which was lovely and a lot of fun, but it's very different than your family. And uh, after about three years, I was ready, ready to come back. Okay. In the States, yeah. So, uh, what would you say was your first major break? I would say um, I started doing commercials, and commercials were a really great way as, for me as an actor to kind of um, become accustomed to not only auditioning but how to be on set. They're short, they're yeah. very quick jobs, they give you um, a really nice financial boost. You get to meet a lot of casting directors.
cubes. There's no, and in a booth, there is no one to do that with. It's just you. And you're literally changing from second to second. The scene is changing. The tone is changing. There are a lot of technical things you have to keep in mind as well, as in your, uh, where the mic is and where your, your placement is around the mic, your levels. Um, there's often time issues and constraints you have to do within the, the, the line. So um, it's just as much a technical uh, kind of activity as it is a creative one. Um, so I find it really, uh, it's very terrifying to me. I get, I get really anxious whenever I'm doing any voiceover. Oh, really? Is there a uh, specific show that you've done uh, that people have missed out on that you think they should go back and watch? I think the original, like uh, um, the sitcom I was telling you about, I wish more people would have seen that. It's so funny and so original. Uh, called I Hate My 30s. It had original musical numbers in it. And it was based on, the whole idea came from, do you remember the after school specials back yeah. in the 80s? name of our series, they changed it, it was going to be the After Work Special. So it was going to be a total parody and cheesy takeoff of those after school specials, but for people in boring office jobs in their 30s. So it, that's kind of the, the, the tone of it. It's very funny. It's a lot. It was um, a kind of very tongue-in-cheek. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I wish more people would have seen that, I think. Uh, do, you have, really a lot of fun. do you have any projects coming up? Uh, I'm currently recording a regular role on Star Trek Online, which is so awesome. And we're actually flying up to Oakland to Cryptic Studios to do more recording for that character um, in the first week of June, and then the next day having a screening of our most recent Star Trek Continues episode at Pixar Studios. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now that I really am having a good time. Well, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank Can we get you. a picture